After days of building international uproar, a Florida pastor now says he scrapped plans to mark the anniversary of 9-11 by burning copies of the Quran. He says it's because backers of a planned mosque near Ground Zero have agreed to move it. We felt that that would be a sign that God would want us to do it. The American people do not want the mosque there. And of course, Muslims do not want us to burn the Quran. However, the imam behind the New York mosque said he's not bargaining over the site. Until we fly to New York and meet with the imam and the imam and his leadership make that final decision, it's not my decision. The Florida minister's change of heart followed a direct appeal from President Barack Obama, who told ABC's Good Morning America this is not the American way. I just hope he understands that uh, what he's proposing to do is completely contrary to our values as Americans. That this country has been built on the notions of religious freedom and religious tolerance. Plus Obama said burning Islam's holy book would play into the hands of radicals ready to seize on any grievance. This is a, a recruitment bonanza for Al-Qaeda. Uh, you know, y you could have serious violence in places like Pakistan uh, or Afghanistan. Obama thus joins Afghanistan Commander General David Petraeus in warning the Quran burning could endanger U.S. troops and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, who's put U.S. embassies on alert. At home, a prominent Muslim group launched its Learn Don't Burn campaign, noting the Quran includes the stories of Moses and Jesus, both Muslim prophets. So we ask him to remove all these references before he burns the Quran and he has to remove the reference to God, so he will end up with just the two covers of the book. During his daily briefing, Press Secretary Robert Gibbs was asked if burning the Quran qualifies as a hate crime. He wouldn't say, but added, This is a hateful act. This is an offensive act. Gibbs called Jones a desperate man who's now got more reporters covering him than worshipers in his pews. Whatever happens, the president's remarks have placed him squarely in the middle of yet another controversy over Islam in America. This after saying Muslims have a right to build a mosque near Ground Zero. Yet as embattled as he is on so many fronts right now, a fresh fight over religion and terror may be about the last thing Obama needs.